On this James the Bike Guy, we're checking out a Back to Basics aluminum hardtail from Giant, their Talon 4. The Talon series is their entry-level mountain bike lineup, and the 4 is the least expensive way to get into this bike. So we're going to go into some of the features and designs of this bike. We'll talk about who it's for and where it should be ridden, and then finally we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing's interesting to you, stick around, sit back, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As we talked about in the opening of this bike, the Giant Talon series is Giant's entry-level mountain bike. So this is a hardtail mountain bike setup, meaning it's got suspension just in the front end, and it's going to be running an aluminum frame and some conservative geometry to make it well-suited for somebody doing light trails and off-roading, as well as somebody who's looking for a bike to, say, commute into school, use on a college campus, or be a first mountain bike. And that's really where this is going to shine, is as a gateway to get people into the sport and enjoying the riding. And it's going to be pretty neat because it'll come in both 27.5 and 29 inch wheels. And by that, that's the diameter of the wheel. A larger diameter wheel generally is going to roll a bit faster, be a bit better going over more difficult obstacles, but it increases the bike's overall size and height while riding it to make it a little less nimble and take up a bit more space on the trail. So in sizes extra small to medium, it's available in a 27 and a half inch. And in sizes medium to extra large, it's available in a 29. And the bike we're checking out here is a size large 29. So that means this is the traditional large or 19 inch frame size and made it up with those 29 inch wheels. So you can see proportionally, it looks quite good. The Talon's aluminum frame is going to be made out of their ALU XX alloy. It's going to be disc brake only, so as you can see, you've got discs on the front and the rear. And this frame that we're looking at here is finished in this matte, more olive color. I believe they call it trekking green, but it also comes in a metallic black as well. For the frame, it's got some neat features like an inch and an eighth integrated headset head tube. You've got internal cable routing, which is nice and slick throughout the bike. Going out back, we're gonna have awesome features like rack and fender mounts. You can mount things onto the bike, say if you wanted to use this to go out on a ride. And then on the non-drive side, you'll see there's a mount for a direct mount kickstand, which I like to see, cause that's a nice addition on a bike like this, where it might be used for more than just light trail use. The suspension fork on this giant Talon is gonna be the SR Suntour XEE. This XEE fork is going to have 100 millimeters of travel in sizes small to extra large. And then the extra small size is going to run 80 millimeters of travel on this front fork. The fork is pretty basic with just a preload adjust, so you can adjust it slightly with how much preload it's going to have. But otherwise, it's a set it and forget it quick release fork. Cockpit componentry on this bike is all provided by Giant. We have the giant contact handlebar. This is a 31.8 millimeter contact handlebar. So it's got a 31.8 bar clamp, an alloy stem. And then as we go to the back of the bike, the saddle is gonna be their giant custom saddle mounted up on a sport 30.9 seat post. This is an aluminum seat post here and pretty neat. It runs a quick release so you can open that up, raise and lower a saddle as needed. And then all you have to do, clamp it back down The drivetrain on this bike is going to be in the more affordable range set. So here we're running a 2x7 drivetrain. So that means it's got two speeds up front, a high and a low, and then out back you're going to have seven speeds to adjust throughout those. So in total 14 gears that you'd be running on the bike and it's shifted through this micro shift M21S seven speed rear derailleur. The gears are going to be a range of 14 to 28 on a Shimano freewheel. And then going up front, the front shifted using a MicroShift M382B front derailleur to this alloy crank set. So this is a pro wheel alloy armed crank set with 22 to 36 tooth of range up front. And that gearing setup is gonna work out pretty decent because the small ring up front being a 22 and the largest gear out back being a 28 means the bike has well under a one to one gear ratio. So the bike is not going to sacrifice any climbing capabilities, but because the front ring in its biggest being a 36 and the rears being a 14, it's going to be a little bit less geared on the top end or the fastest speeds 
compared to some higher end versions of this bike. Slowing the bike down are gonna be some tried and true mechanical disc brakes with the TKD 172 calipers. This is a single piston caliper clamping down on 160 millimeter rotors, running a standard brake cable to operate them. Connecting the bike to the ground is gonna be a set of Maxxis Icon 29 by 2.2 tires. These are a fast rolling XC style tire, perfect for hard pack surfaces. And then the rims that they're mounted up on are the giant GX 03 Vs. Basically these are a double walled alloy rim, 21 millimeters of internal width, and they're laced up 32 spokes on the front as well as the rear. For the actual weight of the bike, I've borrowed this video from Arlene Verdita out of the Philippines, but the actual weight comes in at 32.19 pounds or 14.6 kg. Thanks for watching this video on the Giant Talon 4. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this 2021 Giant Talon 4. While you're at it, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as drop a subscribe so that way you can see more videos like this in the future.